Hey, Josh, congrats on your deal. Um, I, I guess, why did you end up picking the Titans and how excited are you about the fit and maybe what you can do in the offense in Tennessee? Uh, I picked them because, um, I mean, it just kind of made the most sense for me and the family. Uh, you know, as far as uh, at the point of my career I'm in, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to create a name for myself. And uh, and I think I think uh, with Corey Davis leaving, I think, I, you know, I, I could go in and fit that role pretty good. So, um, but man, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited to be, uh, you know, be a Titan and, uh, and, and, and getting ready to get this thing going with the team, man. I've been, uh, I talked with coach Rabel, um, a couple of times before I actually signed and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to actually meet them in person. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, and I, and, and basically looking to bring kind of the same, same aspects as, um, uh, as Corey did and, uh, and maybe a, a couple of different things, but, uh, you know, ultimately trying to just fill in that spot and, and make a name for myself. Harry. Josh, uh, first of all, welcome in. Uh, you came from the Rams and that the, the style of offense that they run with the power run game and the play action and all is very similar to what, the Titans have done here over the last couple of years, kind of the influence of Matt LaFleur. Uh, can you talk about, I guess, the similarities and the fit that uh, you feel like you can be in this, in a similar style system? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's almost, it's almost, uh, it's almost exactly the same kind of like you were saying with the play actions and the, uh, and the zone running and, and all that. So, you know, it's, it's almost basically just going to be a little plug and play with me and uh, to be able to, you know, just come in and, and, and do what I was doing with the Rams and, uh, you know, maybe get a couple more uh, deep balls than I was getting over there. But, you know, ultimately, you know, I'm I'm, I'm ready to go, man. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that hard adapting with the to the playbook and and um, and yeah, ready to go. Teron. Yeah, Josh, welcome. Welcome to Nashville. Excuse me. Uh, a part of that whole scheme thing and everything filling in for Corey Davis, uh, does it excite you b to be able to likely go against a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups with a lot of the coverage rolling towards AJ Brown's side? For sure. That's why, that's what a big, uh, and that's what a big part of it was um, on my decision. Cause you know, with Derrick Henry, uh, you know, forcing those linebackers up, you know, I, you know, I knew it was going to be a, a, a a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities and and you know that was that was a lot of what I did in college you know and 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 since getting to the league I hadn't actually been able to to put that on display much so you know I'm uh, like I said I'm extremely excited to be able to get uh get going with Tannehill and and um and AJ on the other side John Glennon Hey, Josh, um, this might be sort of along the same lines, but I, I know certainly there was, you know, Robert Woods and, and Cooper Cup there in L.A. and they were they were, uh, you know, attracting a lot of targets. Uh, um, do you feel like this is more of an opportunity to really kind of showcase the potential that, that maybe you weren't, uh, you know, quite able to do in, in L.A. all the time? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do, you know. Um... You know, Tannehill, he likes to, he likes to throw the throw them deep. So I mean, you know, I'm, that was <laughs> that's basically what I what I did, man. And and, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, being able to being able to kind of have those three level throws and and um, the strikes that I was doing like I was in uh, with the rounds. And so um, I'm definitely excited to be able to kind of bring bring that you know that that deep ball kind of threat. And uh, and fifty fifty ball kind of threat to 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 Titans, man. Teresa, Josh, you mentioned bringing some of your own style. What are your strengths as a receiver, and and you know that help you think that you're going to fit in so well? Uh, I I think I bring a lot like uh like Corey Davis, you know, uh, a big body guy, uh, go up and go get it, um. Um, with the Rams, you know, I was, I was actually able to work on my intermediate game a lot, you know, coming out of college, I was, I was one of my, uh, one of my weak points, but, but with the Rams, you know, that was a lot of what I did over there. Um, 
they had me they had me doing a lot of the uh the zone blocking and stuff so i mean uh, seeing, you know, seeing, seeing how the Titans operate and, and their offense, you know, I, you know, I, I know I'm gonna have to be in, be down there and doing the nitty gritty blocking and stuff, but you know, that's, that's ultimately what I'm used to and, uh, and, uh, ready to bring. Paul? I know you were in the slot about 25% of the time. How much have you guys talked about, uh, inside, outside, um, and, uh, you're talking about Corey. Uh, if you could pick up on the blocking a little bit, how how uh, how, how much you need to refine your blocking game, maybe, and and get get uh, involved in downfield blocking. How much how much were you doing that uh, in LA? Uh, uh, my first two years, it was actually a lot of what I was doing because when when Cooper Cup went down, um, Robert Woods ended up going to the F, and I took over the Z. So, uh, you know, a lot of that was, you know, the motioning down, um, duo, you know, duo plays, the downhill blocking, like you were saying, uh, you know, so that was, that's, that was a lot of my take my first two years. And then, um, finally when, uh, when I kind of got able to get my starting role, that's when I moved to X and, and was able to, you know, play the outside. But, um, basically, I mean, you know, that's, that Z uh, slot, you know, to the outside kind of guy. I mean, that's that's a lot of what I was doing my, my first couple of years in the, in the league. Corey Curtis. Hey, Josh, uh, you know, the Titans didn't just lose Corey Davis. Of course, Adam Humphreys is also gone. Did you just look at this as, as a wide open opportunity because AJ is really the only one coming back and, and a chance in a one year deal for you to put some numbers up? I did. I did. And I also, you know, I felt like, um, uh, like I can kind of just bring that, that different piece to, to, to help the Titans, you know, go above and beyond what they, you know, what, what they've been doing in the, in the, past. you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can, I can bring that and, and, uh, and, and help them continue to win. David Beauclair. Josh, I'm just curious. Your your first go round with free agency. Did you did you enjoy this process of trying to find the best fit, or did you find it stressful, or what did you think? Yeah, no, it was it, it was it was stressful. It was stressful. I was excited until uh until free agency actually hit, and then you know, yeah, it's it's, it's definitely stressful. I can tell you that. Even one, even once. I actually got my offers at that point it became a different stress to figure out what was the best fit for me and uh and my family Teron. yeah josh i remember you coming out of a and m you you did a really good job of you know being a vertical receiver but it, it didn't seem to happen that much with the rams as you mentioned what really was was behind that was there anything in particular that you could put your finger on Man, it, it, it's hard to say, man. You know, it's, we we had we had we had deep balls in the game plan, but I mean, sometimes it just didn't just didn't happen like uh, you know, that, like like we were planning on. So I mean, you know, reps were just limited as far as deep ball wise. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't get our play actions going too much. Um, uh, when, when we would struggle in the run game a little bit. So I mean, I think I think that could have been a big uh. uh, uh And you know the Rams are on your schedule, so uh, that's that. I'm sure going to be a good opportunity. You know, is that something that you knew that that you knew uh, before I said that? I actually did know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it too. No doubt. John Glennon. Yeah, Josh, I know just looking at your numbers from last season, it looked like you took some some pretty significant jumps in a lot of areas. And maybe the one area that went down was the, uh, you know, average yards per catch. What do you think were the reasons for both the, you know, the increases in a lot of the areas and maybe the the, the dip in yards per catch? Um, well, I can say the increase of, of, of the other areas was, um, the amount of uh, opportunity I was able to get, you know, the amount of targets I was getting, uh, you know, I had a career high in that. 
And so, I mean, you know, the, and then and then the decrease in yards per catch, I think, you know, a lot of them were because, you know, we were doing a lot of hitches or I was doing a lot of hitches on the outside. And so um, instead of just the the strikes, the strikes, and then the uh, the um, three level throws where I'm where I'm running the running the over route across the field and stuff. So uh, I think I think that was a big reason why why the yards per catch wasn't wasn't like it was in the past. Thanks, Jim Wyatt. Hey Josh, I know you were after Ryan at Texas a and but did you guys ever get to know each other, uh, you know, along the, you know, along the way? And have you heard from him since you signed? Uh, we actually have not uh, been able to to meet each other in person, but you know, as soon as uh, as soon as I I called um, Coach Vrabel and and let him know I was signing with him, you know, Tannehill, he, you know, he he texted me probably about twenty minutes later, you know, welcoming me to the squad and and uh you know just just excited about having me there man and so you know just even that right there it just you know it it gets me ready man ready to ready to meet them ready to compete with, for these guys and and ready to help them win and, and aj brown uh what, what do you like about his game and how do you think you guys can be as as, as a tandem i'm sure there'll be more guys in the in the mix but the, the thoughts of playing with him I mean, he's a he's a dynamic guy, you know. Y'all y'all know uh, dude can make some plays, and uh, he's a big body receiver. So I mean, uh, he he kind of he kind of brings the same uh, you know same things I I bring to the game, and and so having him uh, you know on the other side uh, creating plays, you know, I think we we'll, I think we'd be a great duo. And where are you hanging out today? You you in uh, I guess in your car in in California? Is that where you spend most of your time? Uh, kind of getting ready for the season. No, right now I'm in, I'm in Texas, uh, uh, rehabbing and stuff, doing, you know, being able to work out and see some family. And what do you know oh. about? Na oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What do you know about Nashville? Uh, well, I got I got a pretty good tour. Uh, about two days ago from my agent, so you know my agent knows all about Nashville and and. Uh, you know he's he's gonna he's gonna show me the show me the right areas to be and and uh and so I'm you know I'm I'm definitely excited I've I've uh I've I've kind of uh, got to get a little feel of, of Nashville uh in college we actually played in the uh, Music City Bowl and then was able to play in the Liberty Bowl as well um so I mean I I mean I know a little bit I know a little bit about Nashville not much though. Bill, Bill Johnson, your, your guys, that's yeah. your agent? Yes, sir. John Glennon. Yeah, Josh, just wondering um, if you know much of, of Todd Downing, the, the new uh, uh, coordinator here, if you've gotten in touch with him. And, you know, also, I guess, Rob Moore, any, um, uh, you know much about, uh, about him? I do, yeah. We actually, uh, when I went up there to sign, uh, I mean, most of the coaches were, we're off doing um uh, doing their pro day stuff uh you know all, all the pro day visits and stuff but uh but Downey was there so I was able to actually talk with him in person kind of see you know see what uh what they were looking for out of me and uh and uh Rob Moore was also there so I mean it was it was it was good to be able to kind of put put names with faces and uh and actually talk with these guys in person. Thanks. 